What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, you know that I picked up an electric snowblower this winter. Love it. Uh, picked it up from Sun Joe and Snow Joe. And uh, I picked up this Sun Joe Ion 40 volt 16 inch cordless chainsaw. And the reason I picked this up is because you can actually order this thing as a core tool. No charger and battery. And that's cool because apparently it uses the same charger and batteries that my snowblower does. So the cool thing about being in the Snow Joe, Sun Joe family is that, you know, I don't have to keep buying duplicate accessories. And theoretically, I can buy just the core tool here, this chainsaw, and hopefully run it on the same power source as my snowblower. So it does come with some paperwork, some instructions, and then here inside the box, we have the chainsaw in two pieces. So it looks like we have a box here with the uh, the chain and the saw portion. And then we have the unit right here. So looks like this is what we get. I mean, it's pretty big. Uh, kind of feels like a regular chainsaw. As you can see, the, the battery uh, certainly looks like the compartment is the same for my existing battery. It slides right in there. It only uses one, as you know, my uh, snowblower uses both two batteries at the same time so this obviously uses one big curved handle here and it's gonna take a closer look at the the equipment you know it's a little bit in this kind of subtle neon green it's kind of like ego works or green mini plastic here you will oil the thing because you do have metal running on metal so you're gonna want to kind of chainsaw a small tool oil I don't know if there's any in there at the moment Let's see, ensure a sufficient chain oil before you choose. So you're gonna need some of that. You do have a hand guard up here. As you can see, it's looks like it's even maybe adjustable a little bit. Looks like there's a screw in there. So you can kind of move that forward or back. It's locked in place right now. And then you have um, some teeth right here. So if you get right up against a log, you know, it kind of locks you in so you're not sliding around. Looks like the, uh, the chain and the blade will fit in there and screw on in. Looks like this is how you'll tighten it and screw it in. And then a big curved handle, as I was mentioning. Uh, so if from the user side, you can have both hands on it like this. You know, nice good grip. It's not rubberized, but it's kind of like this flat black plastic. So you should be able to get, I can get a good grip on it, which is nice. And then you have the, the handle down here, and this is rubberized a little bit, so you get rubberized handle there. Trigger right there with the lockout button, so I can pull it, but you won't accidentally fire it off. And like I said, the battery compartment right up there in the top, and it looks like there's a little shield, so you don't have to worry about, you know, sawdust and things getting down in the connections. All right, so we've got that. And then we also have... the uh, working part, the bar and chain accessory kit. Now it's a 16 inch guide bar and a 16 inch Oregon chain. All right, comes in plastic. So you can cut this open too. Looks like there's a really nice guard that goes over it. So you do have this plastic guard. It's not super, super duper rugged, but as you can see, it's kind of like thinner, but it's textured. So that's kind of nice. You slip it over your, your chain. And here is, here is the workhorse portion of the saw itself. 16 inches long, as you can see there. Pretty standard chainsaw chain on it. Seems a little like smaller than like you know your normal size chainsaws. It's gonna be at 16 inches, it's not gonna be super long, right? Sunjo logo there, and then you have kind of that gear interface wheel right there. So we would have to put this on. I like that they've tied it on with a wire tie there to kind of keep everything in place. Want to make sure the chain is lubed up and in the track. And uh, so we'll put this on, get it all tightened up, and then see how it runs. A couple 
things that I'll tell you about putting this together. Well, it seems pretty easy, but and the instructions are pretty clear. <clears throat> You're obviously going to take off this whole side, as you saw me do. It's unscrewing this piece right here will uh, allow this thing to pop off. You're going to want to lay the chain down here, and there's a there's a metal kind of wheel in there that's going to loosen up that chain so you can get it around that gear uh, in the back here. Then you're going to put this back on. There's a tab right in here that's going to have to fit in first. And then you're going to basically screw the this, this housing back down with this dial right here. That's going to kind of push it against it. You're going to use this before you tighten it all the way down uh, to adjust the chain tension. And then you're going to tighten the, the housing down with this. So there's kind of two pieces to the to the to the wheel here um, once you get that your chain should be ready to rock you know I, I've kind of realized that from using other chains uh, chainsaws that there's always a little slack in it uh, the other thing to keep in mind is the chain blade indicator will kind of point this way there's one on either side so you should be able to um, screw it up but you want it at the top pointing forward so now we've got our chainsaw here the other thing I'm going to have to do here is buy some chain oil, get that in there, and then charge up the battery and take it out and give it a shot. So in the meantime, I'm just going to put this cover on it, just like that, slips on. What I do is uh, take a little bit of Oregon bar and chain oil and get our chainsaw lubed up. Now, one of the things that I think is uh, true about uh, barn chain oil is that it's biodegradable because basically it's kind of just dropping lube onto the chain to keep it from chewing up metal on metal so uh, you want to just make sure that it's the right oil for the the application so you can see here the cap is there and then you do have a little fill window here and there's a little marking for min so you want to make sure you can see it through there so let's go ahead and get this filled up all right, so now we got the chainsaw uh, filled with the barn chain oil. The indicator says that it's filled all the way. We've got the uh, chain guard over the blades here. I'm going to pull that off, and I think I've got it kind of tightened up to where I think it's going to work. Now, the other thing is we have to check and see if the battery is going to fit this. So here's my battery. This is from the snowblower, 40 volt, and you'll notice it says Snow Joe. So gosh, is it going to fit in my Sun Joe? So let's find out here. Look at that. Locks in. There's a little tab right under there. And it is in there. And now I'm not your mama, but wear proper protection. Uh, I've got the hand guard kind of in a place that's comfortable for me. Let's go ahead and see if it fires up. Look at that. Let's see if I'm putting that oil on the blade. And it's kind of not quite so scary with the electric sound and not all that uh, gasoline two-stroke grinding and whirring but now we have to see if this thing actually cuts all right guys pulled out a log out of my my uh, firewood pile and one of the reasons that i got this chainsaw is that this log is actually too big to fit my wood burning stoves they're actually pretty small and so you know yeah you could get a splitter but uh, i also have a problem of it's too wide to get through the door now if i were to split it yeah, that would certainly probably make it a little easier, but it still kind of snugs in there end to end. So what I wanted to do on some of these is just kind of make them into a little bit more of a stumpy block. So this is going to be a big test because this is a big log, as big as I'd ever kind of planned to cut. And we'll see if this little sun joe here can get through it. Again, not your mama. Wear protective clothing and gear. Guys, that was real time and in the big reveal look at that no problem and, and I mean that cut through it like it's it was its job which it is so you know that's not a small log by any means and it's dead uh, pretty dry so I've got that going for her, but you know 
there was there were no problems I didn't notice that the chain or the motor was choking at all you know that's gonna help that the blade is sharp right out of the box but I'm um, pretty impressed with this this uh, Sunjo here is only about 150 bucks now that's gonna be more expensive than other electric chainsaws which I've used in the past and have worked pretty well but the thing here is that this thing is kind of the core tool only and can and is cordless so you know if you have a battery you could take this not only on a trip but certainly if you have a large estate and are working in kind of the far corners you don't have to worry about that and so I really like it now the cool thing about my snow Joe batteries is that when I bought my snowblower it actually came with two batteries so I actually have two batteries so I could theoretically run this thing for about 80 minutes. I think they advertise that you get about 40 minutes of work out of a single charge. So I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's great. It's not too big. And just in general, uh, this is gonna be a really useful tool for cleaning up, uh, cleaning up the yard and cutting up firewood. Peter Von Panda with my Sunjo cordless electric chainsaw out.